To make a simple paper circuit, you're going to need the following. A pen, paper, copper tape, coin cell battery, sellotape, an LED bulb, scissors, and a ruler. The first thing that I'm going to do when I'm making a paper circuit is to draw a little sketch on my paper so that I know where the copper tape is going to go. It's also important to fold down an edge. So that's this is the place where my battery is going to go. And I'm going to need copper tape going on the bottom and then copper tape coming here on the top so that when I fold it over it's on both ends of the battery. So I'm going to start with one that's going to be on the bottom. I'm just going to draw a line straight down like that. And on this side I'm going to leave a space for my light bulb because it does not need to go across the light bulb or the circuit won't work. And then the last line here and this one will go onto the fold. The next step in making a paper circuit is to put the copper tape onto the paper. I would suggest not cutting the tape from the spool because it's a little bit easier and you don't know exactly how much you'll need and you don't want to waste much even though it is a cheap resource. So what I'm going to do is separate the white backing from the copper tape and I'm going to start my line right here. It's really important to try and get it straight because it is something that is difficult to keep in a straight line and I'm just going to pull the white backing and push it down with my thumb so it's nice and even on the paper. See how it's kind of hard to keep it in a row, it's in a straight line. The next thing I'm going to do, and this is really important, is to, on the corners, I'm going to fold it that way and then pull in the new direction. You want to do your best to keep this from breaking so that when the electricity is going through the copper tape, it um, doesn't get interrupted because if it has to go from piece to piece, it's a little more difficult. The next thing we're going to do is fold that and from this way we're going to go and keep on pushing it down until we get to that gap that I left for the light. At that point I'm going to cut the tape and I'm going to cut off the extra little bit of the white backing there so that we don't need that. Now I'm going to do the second bit. Same idea only there's one turn here so it should be a little bit easier. Put it on as straight as I can, pull the white backing bit, and push the tape down. In the corner I'm going to fold it, and continue on to this point. Then I'm going to cut the tape. The last part of making a paper circuit is to put the light and the battery in. It would be a good idea to check the battery. Um, when you're putting che checking with the um, coin cell battery and the, the light, you want the long end to be touching the positive on the top, sorry, and the short end to be touching the negative on the bottom and see how it lights up there so we know both things work. So if I'm having, if I put my coin cell battery down like this, I want this bit's going to be touching the top, so the long bit should be touching here. So I'm going to fold, unfold, I guess, or fold my light, and I'm going to place it there so it's across that gap. I'm going to take a pe two pieces of sellotape, one for each side, and I'm going to make sure the tape is holding the light down as best as it can. And one more piece. And now if I try my battery, let's hope it works. There we go. We've got a working paper circuit. Some people will use a clip like this to keep the battery on. So you would just clip that there and clip it like that so that you don't have to hold it. To make a parallel circuit, all I'm going to do is take some tape, make a line there with a gap where I'm going to put my light bulb, make another line here so that I've got two different pathways that the electricity can take. 
Because this only conducts on the top, I need to fold over the end, and then I'll just tie that, to, uh, put that down with sellotape at the end. So I folded the end over, and that folded over bit is going to need to go over here. And I'm going to cut tape there. And I'll start from this side again with the fold over. So fold it over. There we go. And stick it down so that it is going to meet there with a gap. Okay, so I need to make sure that I use some sellotape at each junction. Oops. So put that down there so that connection is strong. And put down this there, so that's okay. Remember I had the positive is going to be at the top, so the long end goes to the positive here. And again, two more pieces of sellotape. Make sure it's in the middle so that it gets full contact with the um, copper tape. And one more piece of sellotape on the side. Make sure those are nice and firm and let's test our light. And they both go on, mostly. Now the great thing about a parallel circuit is that if one goes out, um, the other one will stay on because the electricity goes this way and it goes this way.